Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Clunky Pod. Pod or Pog? Pog. Clunky Pog comes in with a question about a graphics card upgrade. And it is a best GPU you would consider for a 3770. Currently using an RX 570 and play mostly Warzone, single play games, 75 Hertz, 1080p monitor with 16 gigs of dual channel RAM with a one terabyte SSD. My first off the cuff answer to that is I wouldn't upgrade the graphics card you could absolutely put a better graphics card in there and get better performance, but you are more CPU limited than you may be aware. Some of those games are older to be sure. Uh, for those of you who don't know or who have forgotten, the i7-3770 is a four core, eight thread CPU as part of the Ivy Bridge platform that launched in 2012. It is nine years old. I know. During the mid 2010s, Intel was asleep at the wheel and AMD was off in the ditch doing whatever they were doing, but there have legitimately been some real changes since then. The RX 570 is not a bad graphics card. No, it's pretty good. It's about the same speed as a 480 or about 10% slower than a 580. It's really not that much slower than a GTX 1060. Yes, a faster graphics card would give more frames per second, but he's running at 1080p, 75 Five. hertz. Exactly. He's got 16 gigs of RAM, two gold stars. He's got a, a terabyte of SSD, two gold stars. But to be completely blunt, you need a CPU upgrade, even for those older games. If you were to even go to an i5, I know you have an i7, i5, but if you were to go to an i5 10400 or 11400, six core 12 thread chip. You would have more clock speed, yep. higher instructions per clock cycle, you would. DDR4 instead of DDR3, True. and 50% more cores. You can currently find i5 deals in the $150 range and you can find motherboards for under $100. For maybe $250 for motherboard and CPU, it would destroy his current machine. Yeah. The system responsiveness, the the game update speed, the game launch what? speed, yep. the level load speed, the the right. lack of the, the frame stutters, it would be a better experience. If you were to take a RTX 2070 or a RTX 2060 or maybe even a GTX 1660 Super, Super. all those would be nice upgrades over what he's got. That's but true. if you put all those on a 3770 that's nine oh. years old, <laughs> I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. It would be better, but that's that's kind of like spending a ton of maintenance and doing a ton of work and rebuilding an engine and rebuilding a transmission and, and new tires and new brakes and- No, flat tires. On a 10 year old car that's worth, <laughs> you know, two grand. I mean, take old Bessie out to pasture. You know what he needs to do? What? Buy a new computer. Yeah. Now, I can hear the audience already. I don't have the money for a new computer. Okay. I would honestly go with my first gut, which is live with the RX 570 until you can buy a new computer. Your entire machine is now old enough. Replace it as a complete machine. Yeah. There are reasonably decent pre-builds that he can buy for about $1,000 with a 1660 Super. 16 gigs of RAM. Yep. And then, here's an important point. He still has the old machine. Correct. That computer right now is probably worth, well, shoot, the video card alone, if it's a, well, if it's an eight gig card. Well, yeah, because they did four gigs. If it's a four gig card, then it's not worth that much. But if it's an eight gig card, his machine's worth at least, it's probably worth at least $600. Maybe more. The graphics card alone would be worth 500. He could probably sell it and replace it with a new machine for less than he thinks. Yeah, by the time he sells this one. And the entire machine would just be better overall. And if you can swing 13 or 1400, then you're looking at a RTX 3060. Correct. Which 
is just then yeah. I mean we're just it's a whole new ball game at that point. So if you can sell your current machine for six or seven hundred and you can buy a new one for thirteen hundred with an RTX 3060, you've got your answer. But that assumes you have the money and can do that. If not, keep what you've got and save up your money until you can replace it. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.